Всем привет, my name is Vika, I'm very glad to see you on my channel. Today I wanted to talk about 20 things I no longer buy. And I've seen uh, this video many times on YouTube and I thought that it would be very interesting to make this list myself. And I tried to pick uh, items that uh, you would be interested in, so not the very basic and simple ones. This video isn't made to judge anybody if you buy everything from this list, like all of these pieces. Uh, that's great if you enjoy them, if you love them, just keep what you're doing and have like fun with things that you buy. I'm just sharing my personal experience and I hope that this experience may inspire some of you to rethink uh, your purchases, to rethink what you really need and what you really want to buy. I know that many of you came from the video about my apartment tour and you want to see more content about Russia and my life in Russia. But I'm going to make these videos as well as videos about minimalism because these are two huge parts of my life that I want to film and to post on this YouTube channel. So just choose what you like to watch more and today we're talking about minimalism. So let's start with the 20 things I no longer buy. <laughs> I divided these items into three different categories because I like to categorize things. <laughs> and the first big one is everything about home everything related to home and the first one is fancy dishes. I used to love serving everything very beautiful on the table, uh, you know, like nice plates with cups, everything is matching together, all of these beautiful forks and spoons. And I noticed that I don't use these items uh, as frequently as I want to and that I just use several of my plates and cups uh, during the day and these are enough for us. Right now we own only about four plates and six cups and the other dishes that we have belong to the owner of the apartment. She kept them here and said that we can use them. These are like very vintage Soviet Union plates, which I kind of like. <laughs> they don't serve perfectly when the guests come over, but nobody really cares. <laughs> and I try to be creative. I try to divide meals into different plates. I try to put them here and there, like just be creative and it works out every time even if it doesn't look perfect as like in the Pinterest. <laughs> the second thing is extra kitchen utensils. People use a lot of interesting utensils for different reasons, for peeling, for cutting, for boiling, for mixing, like for everything in the kitchen. And this may be very convenient, but I stopped looking forward buying this uh, utensil because in the past I was always thinking that it's difficult for me to do something because I don't have this item or it would be easier for me to cook if I have this item. And it's not really true for me because I like basics and I always forget that I have this specific item and I just use my knife for everything. My wooden mixing uh, thing for everything. You see, they're a little bit uh, worn out because my daughter plays with them sometimes and because they are like 15 years old. <laughs> Next thing is home decor. And here I'm talking more about things that aren't very useful. For example, I like vases because uh, you can keep flowers in them and they would serve you for this specific reason. And But they still keep like one or two vases and don't buy more because I don't usually need more. It's serving a, a purpose and it's still a decor piece, so I kind of like them. And also I'm not talking here about uh, paintings because uh, I really want to have a couple of beautiful oil vintage looking paintings in our future, like our own apartment. Uh, so here I'm talking about things that aren't very useful, like things that just stand on the shelf or hang on the wall or, uh, you know, like decor pillows. I just like very basic interiors, very like more extreme minimalism looking where nothing just annoys my eyes and uh, nothing needs extra cleaning and just like it very basic. So I don't buy any home decor for now at all. I'm going to purchase some uh, oil paintings in the future or like pots for plants or vases, but nothing more than that. The next thing I don't buy is seasonal decor. Because of the same reasons, extra things in the apartment makes me overwhelmed and I get tired of them so fast 
that's why I don't buy anything related to Christmas or Easter. My husband kind of likes that, uh, but he's just too lazy or too busy usually uh, to buy all of these things and decorate himself. He wants every year to buy a Christmas tree, but we've lived three years already without a Christmas tree, so I'm not sure if it will happen any day in the future. Next thing is all the aromatic stuff for home, like aroma diffusers, uh, aroma lamps, uh, all of these sticks that you need to burn and they would smell nice. I just uh, don't like extra smells uh, during the day, they also like annoy me and <laughs> distract me. Uh, so my house smells nice, I just clean it. Uh, the only exception is the toilet because, you know, like you need something like that in the toilet. <laughs> so the next big part is everything related to clothes and beauty industry and the first one is trendy clothes and fast fashion. I've never been a fan of big shopping malls with clothes, I get really overwhelmed in them and I also have never liked shopping for clothes itself, so I found out that there are secondhand stores in my teenage years and I was shopping in second hand since I was a teenager, except for underwear and socks, you know, like things that you can buy second hand. So I usually search for more sustainable, eco friendly, and ethic companies who produce good quality underwear, socks, and shoes also, because uh, shoes are just very hard to find in the thrift stores here. And also, trendy clothes I don't buy because I don't look for trends, trends come and go, and I just don't care for them. I wear what I personally feel beautiful in. Some of my pieces can be trendy, but I just don't really care. <laughs> Next thing is heels. I used to be a huge heel lover. Uh, I was wearing not very big, like short heels, uh, which looked very cute uh, with the jeans or with dresses and I felt myself very beautiful and pretty. But I always had some troubles with these heels. Uh, they would broke or they would stuck somewhere. This became kind of complicated for me and as I said already, I like basics and I like to know that I can wear this piece anytime I want and nothing will happen to it probably. So I got rid of my heels and I don't purchase them anymore. I wear just more flat boots and shoes and sneakers right now. Next thing is handbags. Also was a big fan of handbags and wanted to have a huge collection of them in the past, but right now I just feel like um, I don't want to wear them because you need to take care of them more a little bit and uh, you need to match it with your outfits and I just don't know, I don't like that they are usually a little bit heavy by themselves, so I go everywhere with my shopper bags and I carry everything that I need in my shopper bags, they are very light, they are very simple, I just throw them everywhere I want <laughs> and uh, they fit with every outfit I have, so this works for me very well right now and I don't purchase uh, like feminine bags anymore. Next thing is makeup and perfume. I've never been a huge fan of perfumes, I purchased my perfume three years ago and I think there is a third part of it left, <laughs> so I don't buy them and I'm not going to buy another one after I finish this one. And makeup, I've made a couple of videos about it, I don't buy makeup, I don't uh, use makeup, I decluttered all of my makeup and I decided that I'm not going to use it anymore, I just decided that I don't want to even have an option of wearing it and decluttered everything. <laughs> Next thing is jewelry and accessories. I don't buy jewelry, I stay with my basics uh, with these earrings and my wedding ring and uh, just don't need anything else. I don't wear it uh, as often as I would like to, so I also declutter it all of my jewelry and I don't buy it anymore. And accessories like cute hats or scarves or you know something for hair, I just don't need it, I also always forget to use it and I decided that I don't need them. I can buy accessories like a warm hat or warm scarf if I really need it, uh, or like gloves, but nothing extra, nothing just for 
beauty <laughs> reasons. Next is nail polish and nail accessories. I used to be a huge fan of nail polish and they had a big collection of colorful nail polish and they had a huge bag with everything related to like nails and I decluttered everything and I don't want to color my nails anymore. I also want to be very basic. don't want to waste my time and money on nail polish although I really can understand people who like it. And the last one in this category is extra clothes and shoes. If you watched the video about my wardrobe, you probably noticed that I have very small amount of uh, things in each category, like three t-shirts, one pants. I don't buy clothes just to have a variety or just to have multiples. I stay with uh, just the things that I really need and I really use and the amount of things that I really like use on the daily basis. So I don't buy like extra shoes just because they are pretty. Uh, I have three pairs of shoes, completely different, and I use all of them for specific like time of uh, the year, or specific weather, and uh, that's enough for me. I don't buy just to like have multiples or variety. <laughs> so the last category I think is the most interesting one. It's random things. The first uh, one in this category is things for collections. I really like to collect things in the past. I used to collect coins. I used to collect uh, like uh, cat statues, <laughs> vintage postcards, vintage books, a lot of things. One day I just decided that I don't want to collect anything anymore and I don't want to feel like I have to purchase these things because I'm collecting them. So I also got rid of my collections and I don't collect anything anymore and I'm not going to do that anymore in the future. Next thing is tea bags and this was <laughs> huge in the past. I'm a fan of tea, I don't drink coffee because I don't like the taste of it, I don't drink it at all, but I'm a huge tea lover and I used to drink a lot of tea in the tea bags uh, with different tastes and right now I don't buy tea bags anymore, I buy only good quality tea. Uh, with the nice, uh, you know, like herbs in it or flowers or some fruits and I really enjoy drinking tea much more now because every time I drink it I feel that it's a good quality nice tea which tastes much better than the tea bags. <laughs> Next thing is souvenirs. I've always felt like I need to buy some nice things uh, dedicated to the place where I traveled and I used to bring a lot of souvenirs to home, but as I said, I don't like decor pieces that are not useful and right now I decided not to buy any souvenirs at all. I can buy something if I really need it and if it's just a nice piece. And I like to bring uh, some little presents for my friends from the places I go to and I also try it not to be just souvenirs, I try to find maybe food that uh, is like national food uh, that is tasty and my friends would enjoy it or just some useful stuff also and usually they are very happy to receive something like that from my trips. <laughs> the next one is technology. I don't buy new phones or new computers just because it's newer or nicer. Uh, I buy them only if mine is broken or it doesn't serve me as well as I want to. For example, in the past I needed to change my phone for a better version because I was working as a social media manager and uh, I really needed to buy a phone with a better camera to take better photos. So I only buy new technology only if I really need it. Next one is everything music related. I think this one is very interesting because uh, a lot of people love music and can't live without music. And I just don't like it anymore. I used to love music in my teenage years. I think I changed a lot from my teenage years. <laughs> and for the last five years I've noticed that I don't listen to music at all. Uh, I don't even have small headphones or I don't have any music subscription or a player. I don't have anything related to music. And we don't have a car so I don't listen to music in the car. Also just no music in my life anymore. Next one is cute baby things. Uh, and this is because I'm a mom and uh, moms love to buy cute uh, pieces for their babies, cute uh, nursery decor, cute, uh, like very cute clothes, uh, just cute accessories, toys, 
everything. Uh, a lot of things are bought just because they are cute and uh, I don't buy these things because they are cute. I don't buy anything that I don't really need and I don't, <laughs> I don't even go uh, to these uh, stores for children because I just look at all of these things and they are nice, I love them, but I understand that I don't need them at all and I probably won't even use them. Uh, next one is journals and I also loved to buy journals of the past. I used to have collections of some journals that I really like and I've noticed that I don't even read them till the end. <laughs> they take too much space and they are actually pretty expensive so I don't buy journals anymore, although I like it in the past. I still buy books sometimes, but very seldom and only if I really like the book, if it looks kind of unique, if uh, I'm sure that I'll read it a lot. The last one is brand new things. What I mean here is that I try to buy everything I can secondhand. It's better for the environment and it's better for the budget and I just enjoy buying secondhand pieces. I don't know, I just like it, it's sort of a hobby. <laughs> of course, I buy new things sometimes, uh, like I said, underwear, socks, and sometimes shoes, and just other stuff. I try my best to buy everything I can secondhand, and usually like 90% of the time, I can find the pieces secondhand that I want to. And I feel like searching for secondhand pieces even helps my mental health somehow. I don't know if guys you can relate to that. Uh, because when you search for secondhand, you usually have a very small variety of pieces and uh, you are very happy actually to find the piece you really like uh, in a good condition for a small price. I'm so excited and so happy every time. I never get so excited when I just buy something in the store. So these are all the 20 things that I no longer buy. Uh, write down if you can relate to any of this or if you maybe buy all of these pieces and you are happy to have them. I also wanted to say huge thank you guys for the amount of sweet, kind comments that you send me. They make my days. I just, I get so overwhelmed in a good way with the amount of just love and support that I get from this like community. And I'm so happy that I made a YouTube channel and I've never thought that I would get so many subscribers in such a small amount of time. So I'm just very thankful to have all of you here and I hope that you'll continue to enjoy the content that I make. And just thank you guys, <laughs> I love you all. And I hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe if you are new here and just see you again. Bye bye. <laughs>